Have you ever wondered why certain designs capture your attention more than others? Well, the secret often lies in the power of color. Yes, you heard it right. Color wields an incredible influence on our emotions and perceptions. Imagine walking into a room painted in vibrant red or calming blue. Your mood shifts instantly, doesn't it? That's the magic of color. It can excite, soothe, warn, or invite. This emotional impact of color translates seamlessly into design, making it more appealing and effective. Think about some of the most iconic logos or your favorite websites. What makes them so memorable? Often, it's their color scheme. It's the fiery red of Netflix that exudes excitement, or the soothing green of Spotify that invites relaxation. So when it comes to design, color is much more than a mere decorative element. It's a powerful communication tool that can evoke emotions, convey messages, and influence perceptions. Indeed, the right choice of color can make or break a design. So what is this magical element that can drastically alter our perception? Welcome to the world of color theory. Color theory in its simplest terms is a framework that helps us understand and use color effectively. It's an essential tool for artists, designers, and even marketers, guiding them in creating visual experiences that evoke specific emotions or reactions. Let's dive deeper and explore the building blocks of color theory, the colors themselves. We start with primary colors, red, blue, and yellow. These are the core. They cannot be made by mixing any other colors. Then we have the secondary colors, green, orange, and purple. These are the offspring of primary colors. When you mix two primary colors, you get a secondary color. Blue and yellow make green, red and yellow create orange, and blue and red give us purple. Next in line are the tertiary colors. These are the children of a primary color and its neighboring secondary color on the color wheel. This includes colors like red, orange, yellow, green, and blue, violet, among others. Speaking of the color wheel, imagine a circular rainbow. It's a visual representation of colors arranged according to their chromatic relationship. It's your roadmap to understanding color relationships and creating harmonious color schemes. Now let's talk about warm and cool colors. Warm colors, including red, orange, and yellow, are vibrant and energetic. They're like the heat of the sun or the blaze of a fire. On the other side of the spectrum, cool colors like blue, green, and violet are calming and soothing. They remind us of water, the sky, or a cool forest. Understanding these distinctions is key to manipulating color effectively. For instance, if you want a design to feel energetic and exciting, you might choose warm colors. But if you're aiming for a calm and relaxed vibe, cool colors could be your go-to. Understanding these basic concepts is crucial in mastering color theory. So keep exploring, keep experimenting, and you'll soon see how color can transform your design world. You may ask, why do designers obsess over color theory? A fair question indeed. Let's dive into the world of hues, tones, and shades to find out. Color theory, in its essence, is the science and art of using color. It's a fundamental tool in a designer's arsenal. But why is it so crucial? Well, the first reason is visual harmony. Like a well-conducted orchestra, colors need to work in concert to create a pleasing aesthetic. It's the difference between a chaotic jumble and a symphony of hues. Designers use color theory to create a balanced and harmonious color palette. A harmonious color scheme is pleasing to the eye and helps guide the viewer's attention to key elements in the design. Think of it as the visual equivalent of a catchy tune. It's hard to ignore and even harder to forget. Secondly, color is a powerful communicator. It can convey emotions and set the mood like few other design elements can. The color red, for instance, can signal passion or danger, while blue can evoke feelings of calm and trust. By understanding color theory, designers can tap into these associations to send the right message with their work. Lastly, color theory enhances user experience. In web and app design, for instance, the right color choices can guide users, highlight important elements, and even influence actions. A well-placed, brightly colored button can catch the eye and encourage a click, while a muted background can make text more readable. It's about making the user's journey as intuitive and enjoyable as possible. So you see, color theory is more than just picking pretty colors. It's about creating balance, conveying emotion, and enhancing user experience. It's a complex process that requires knowledge, intuition, and a keen eye for detail. And that's why designers can't get enough of it. In essence, understanding color theory equips designers to make informed and effective design decisions. It's a language of its own, and like any language, it takes time to master. But once you do, the possibilities are endless. Now that we understand the importance of color theory, how do we apply it in design? To start, let's discuss color schemes. They are the backbone of color theory application in design. Three of the most used schemes are monochromatic, analogous, and complementary. 
Monochromatic color schemes use different shades, tints, or tones of a single color. This scheme creates a harmonious and visually appealing design, perfect for establishing a particular mood or highlighting a specific element in your design. Next, the analogous color scheme. This involves using colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. This scheme is excellent for creating a rich yet harmonious look. It's like a symphony of colors, each one playing a part, but all working together to create a beautiful piece. Then we have the complementary color scheme. It uses colors that are opposite each other on the color wheel. Think of red and green, blue and orange. This scheme is fantastic for creating strong visual contrasts and emphasizing elements in your design. But color schemes are just the beginning. It's also essential to consider cultural color meanings in your design. Colors can have different interpretations across cultures. For instance, while white is often associated with purity in Western cultures, it represents mourning in some Eastern cultures. So if your design aims to reach a global audience, understanding these cultural nuances can help avoid miscommunication. And finally, always align your color choices with your design goals. If you're designing a soothing spa website, you might opt for cool blues and greens rather than fiery reds and oranges. Similarly, if you're creating a logo for a bold, innovative tech startup, stronger, more vibrant colors might be the way to go. In essence, applying color theory in design is about making strategic color choices that serve your design's purpose, evoke the right emotions, and resonate with your target audience. Remember, the best color choices are those that align with your design goals and resonate with your target audience. So, we've covered a lot about color and its role in design. We started by understanding the power of color, how it can influence perceptions and evoke emotions, making it a crucial element in design. We then delved into the basics of color theory, introducing you to the color wheel, primary, secondary, and tertiary colors, and the concept of complementary and analogous colors. From there, we emphasized the importance of color theory in design, highlighting how a well-thought-out color scheme can enhance the effectiveness of a design and help communicate a message more powerfully. Finally, we shared some practical tips on how to apply color theory in your design projects, touching on color harmony, contrast, and the use of color to create visual hierarchy. With all these insights, you're on your way to creating more impactful and visually appealing designs. With a good grasp of color theory, you're now equipped to create designs that not only look good, but also communicate.